Am I going? I'm a going. There we go. Okay. We got some dwarf fortress going on. So last time, we set up our drowning chamber and hopefully drowned a bunch of goblins. And that kind of uh, slowed the game down a lot. Also, but god, do I have a lot of pults? Yeah, I have no turkeys, but I have a lot of pults. Okay. I got a um, smithy set up, right? I did. Excellent, yeah, because my we did a we did a magma piston in order to get a fair amount of lava down from where we found it down here. This isn't actually that far. If I wanted to get more, I would probably just use a pump stack. But I wanted to try it. I'd never done a magma piston before. And maybe, maybe we'll set up a pump stack at some point, because that is another, uh, what is this? Ah, yes, that's my drowning chamber, which I think we'll be using today. Yeah, hello, uh, hello, your crazy pa. Yeah, the drowning chamber important because the uh, reason why I, I, I this fort has been slowed down until where I uh, don't stream it unless something interesting happens and uh, something interesting happened it was called a forgotten beast attacked me the forgotten beast os Zakos Prusmo has come a towering skinless lizard it has a square shell and a gaunt appearance. Beware its poisonous bite. And it's over here. That's where Oz Zekos Prumos is. So, uh, what we want to do is make it so that the only way Oz can get into our fortress is by going through here. So, uh, let's go about doing that. So, which one is that? Yeah, we want to close that gate. We want to close that. We want to leave that open. We want to leave that open. We want to open this. We want to leave that closed. Okay. And I think I want everybody inside. But I'll have to redefine inside so that... Yeah. They can go to the... They can go down to the smithy. I still want my industry going, even in the middle of a siege. There we go. So, let's see what the frame rate is like for one. Things are going to be kind of pokey because of all this water, but also our fortress is just kind of huge. Somebody should pull that lever. Is nobody going to pull the lever?
yeah, everybody's going inside. Some people are moving very slowly because they're carrying, they're literally carrying elephants. Okay, that lever's been pulled. Is the other one going to be pulled? Because we want, um... Is this connected to anything? Yeah, drown exit. Is anybody pulling that? The game crashed. Okay. This fortress has been pretty crashy lately. That might mean I dreamed too big, I made the map too big, and did too much crashy shit. Means I may... It might be time to retire this fortress if it keeps crashing like that. find out. I have idlers, so they should. I'll move you in there. I have some animals to move into here. Cat doesn't have to go in there, but it can be safely moved in there. Do I trade with the elves yet? Nah, go ahead and trade with the elves. We'll trade some food with the elves. We'll see if somebody pulls these stupid levers. Okay, levers are being pulled. So now, let's go to our forgotten beast friend and follow him. Looks like it might be killing some Draltha, but it's heading right towards me. stopped. But why? Ah, it's going after the Dralsa. Yeah, watching Dwarf Fortress is definitely nap adjacent. Let's look at that. The uh, Forgotten Beast and the Dralsa are fighting. Dralsa are actually huge. But this one has a venom. Is the, did the Draltha do any blows? I killed the Draltha. I'm just going to go ahead and tell everyone to go inside again, because they'll come try to pick up that Draltha corpse. Okay, here we'll see that uh, Forgotten Beasts are special in that they are immune to trap. They're immune to traps. So this bastard's going to pass towards an animal to go kill it, it looks like. Another Draltha. I bet the drought is going to get stuck in a cage, probably. I 
Uh, the drought is pretty cornered now. I'm gonna go... Here we go. Let's just go ahead and redefine inside. There we go. So after he kills this Dralsa, he should go about... Not sure what he's doing right now. It should try to path into my fortress. Because it knows the it knows the correct path. Now the Dralta is safe inside of a cage. And uh, once he gets inside my water trap, we'll see if my dwarves are quick enough to. In fact. Ooh, this is going to cause some lag. Don't tell me that I never, uh... Okay, so that's the one I want. want to pull that sucker. And now we'll want to see if my dwarves pull this lever in time. We definitely want to pull this just to, just to be safe. that. It's not going to be fast enough. We should be safe, though. Just in case, we are going to deploy the squads. This Forgotten Beast will be... okay. Where did it end up going? Oh, here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is Turn off the water, for one. I can also turn off the alert. So we're safely just kind of walled off from the Forgotten Beast. I 
and we're going to try to catch it in the Pokeball. It's exploring. I did pull that lever, right? Yes. Okay, now it's dead. It just doesn't know it yet. Let's come see if anybody pulls this lever. Ah, uh, mismanaging werebeasts. The trick to werebeasts is at least used to. The trick to wear beasts was to uh, get a gate established as soon as possible. So uh, now we're drowning multiple things all at once. It's uh, going into the river. But I think that's fine. So I don't think it can live through this. That does mean I can uh, pull this lever, though. No, not that one. Not the prisoner release. Yeah, go ahead and pull that. Pull the drown drain. We've caught it in the river trap. Now we'll see if forgotten beasts can drown. It got cut open by, uh, by fighting that Dralsa, at least. Ah, Forgotten Beasts may not need to breathe. Okay, well, in that case, All right, we'll pull this lever. We're going to get, we're going to prepare ourselves to fight the horrible monster. And we're going to try to fight it at range due to the fact that It has a poisonous bite, which would be fairly ruinous if it were to, if it were to happen.
Alright. We are going to station one set of archers here. And one set of archers here. And we are going to... Open up the back of the Drowning Trap. Speaking of Drowning Traps, this one is still draining. My Mark's Dwarves should be getting in position. And my hope is that I can fill this thing like a pin cushion. And for safe measure, we are going to deploy our melee dwarves here so that if uh, Forgotten Beast goes up these stairs, they'll be here to immediately start chopping him. Apparently one of my dwarves is really unhappy. Uh, Dagon. Thought I retired you, Dagon. Dagon is attending a meeting. Okay. Let's cause some more lag. Somebody should go pull that lever. Lever is pulled. Forgotten Beast should be given a clear pathway into the fortress and should go about it. Um, with the uh, emphasis on should. Man, I really thought that... Uh, Could, I could drown these things, but I guess setting up this drowning trap was foolish. It would be a bit hard to transform it into a magma trap at this point. Alright, well let's... Yeah, Forgotten Beast is... Our Forgotten Beast is a big giant lizard. Although it might go to a place where it's being bothersome. Oh, it barely didn't get itself crushed by that bridge. Yeah, this particular one is a skinless lizard that has a venomous bite. And I'm waiting for it to path into my fortress so that it can be pin cushioned by my Mark's Dwarves. And things are going laggy because I made the map extra big, which apparently when I stream is a bit much for the game. And our fortress is quite large and there's a lot of fluid physics going on. Okay. Now the fight begins. Do my none of my Mark's dwarves have ammunition?
So they're just going and bashing it with their... Well, it's getting bodied. It's, uh... Yeah, it looks like the Forgotten Beast is getting bashed by a lot of iron crossbows. Let the Axe Dwarves in! Oh, they killed it. Who got the killing blow? There's a lot of, lot of combat logs. So here's where it was fighting some Draltha. Uh, an Axe Lord. The Mark's Dwarf bashes the Forgotten Beast in the right rear foot with her copper crossbow. <laughs> Does the Forgotten Beast actually hit anybody? Doesn't look like it. The Axe Lord bites the Forgotten Beast in the head, tearing the muscle. The Axe Lord latches on firmly. <laughs> yeah, it's looking like... Hey, here's another wrestler biting the Forgotten Beast in the head. It looks like... The Forgotten Beast couldn't get an attack in edgewise. It mostly got bitten and bashed to death with crossbows. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Bash scratches. Bashed with the crossbow. Bashed with the crossbow. <laughs> so... <laughs> A bunch of Mark's Dwarves I set up to shoot the, the Forgotten Beast. Uh, <laughs> uh d had no ammunition. So, they just mar charged forward and then beat it to death. So, I only mutilated the corpse too, which is a shame, because this thing would have a shell. And did we suffer any casualties? I don't think so. Uh, maybe? Nope, no casualties. So, uh... Yeah, on that, on that note... Uh, the lag on this fortress is getting to be something. Uh, several of my projects involve producing lots of lag. And uh, stuff over here, for instance. Yeah, the plans went from A, drown, which didn't work because the thing doesn't have to breathe. B, to shoot it with crossbows, which didn't work because none of my Mark's Dwarves had arrows, apparently. And then C was, uh, have some Axe Lords available. <laughs> Bite in the face somewhere around Plan M. Ah, uh, but, uh, yeah. Ooh. I think that's going to be it for this fortress. I accomplished most what I wanted to do. I tried a lot of new things. Uh, I did this moat, which I had only briefly done moats like this before. I got a un- I- Grassroots got a unicorn farm going. Um, I've got steel, I did a magma piston. I learned more about guilds and churches and temples. I made some foolish mistakes. 
but the fortress is up and running. And it's a bit laggy at this point. I think it's because of how big I made the map. And, uh, just how many dwarves we've got in here. I've got 157 dwarves and uh, 250 livestock going on right now. No, 183 citizens. Uh, 100, I mean, 247 livestock and then 157 others. Which, uh, that's one of the reasons for the lag. So next time we'll try to avoid that. Maybe I'll be a bit more, uh, maybe I just won't use dogs next time. I don't war train dogs that much, and if I ever want dogs, they're easy to get. Oh boy, what is the hamburger eating? Oh, it's bubble tea. Yes, excellent. Anyways, that's going to be it for this fortress. Uh, we might revisit it later, but some of my foolish idea. But I, okay, here's the other thing. I got a fortress that never planted a plump helmet. You don't need plump helmets. But uh, that's going to be it for this fortress. But that's not going to be it for the stream. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to cut the stream and we'll be back momentarily.